Hello, hello. Hello, Roberto. Hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Estreberto, how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Laura Pamela. Good evening. Hello. It's a pleasure to have you here and to see you once again. Well, I cannot see you right now, but I know you are here. Okay, so tell me students, how was your day? Hello, hello Rene, welcome. Hello, it's a pleasure to have you here and I am going hello. to start sharing my screen so all of you can see it, okay? There you go. Okay. Very good, we're in class number 11. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much for being here. I am going to uh, start sharing. I Let me know when you can see it. Okay, very good. Were are you watching the game? Yeah, yeah, watching. Okay, very good. How was it? Zero uno. We lost or we won? We lost. <laughs> and, okay, nah, anyway, <laughs> Ronnie's angry. <laughs> okay, good. So, Let's start. We are in class and this is another thing, right? That's that's how soccer is like, right? Así es la vida, así es el fútbol. So, uh, Ronnie was angry <laughs> because of the selector. Imagine Victor. <laughs> trabajando, trabajando, hemos estado, teacher. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe, I believe. <laughs> I believe. Hey, Helen, you are very elegant today. Very good. <laughs> you look very nice. Okay, my dear students, uh, Victor is not here. He's maybe celebrating somewhere in El Salvador. Okay, we are going to work, right? Yesterday we were working on the different tongue twisters, right? We were working on colors, clothes, and we were also working on the different parts of clothing, right? We were talking about vocabulary, about clothing, and we were also mixing this one with the colors, right? And for sure, we were also talking about your favorite color and the colors that you don't like. And the last thing we did yesterday, it was talking about what you are wearing. Right, that was the last part of our class. And today we are going to start our class by sharing some of the things that you are wearing, right? You are going to share the different objects that you are wearing today. For example, in my case, today I am wearing a blue and green blouse, right? I'm wearing a blue and green blouse. I am wearing a turquoise necklace, I am wearing earrings, and I am wearing jeans, right? You will see here, yeah, I'm wearing jeans today. You see, Ta -da! I am wearing jeans. So that's what I am wearing today. And I'm wearing black shoes, right? I can show you the shoes because it's very difficult. So Ronnie, what are you wearing today? Remember to use the color and the clothes. Go ahead. 
So you can say, I am wearing, and you start with the blouse, with the pants, with everything that you have right now, okay? Ronnie will be our first example. Ronnie será nuestro primer ejemplo, nuestro primer modelo de la noche. Okay. Ahorita estoy analizando, DJ. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Estoy analizando que me deje las chanclas, me va a decir. <laughs> okay. What color is your shirt? The shirt. What color is your shirt? Uh, I am. I am where, where, where are you? Wearing, wearing. Wearing, wearing. I am wearing a color. Uh, Blue, I think. No. Uh, Esmeralda. Ajá. No, no puede ser. Perdimos a Ron. Black, <laughs> black, no, it's here. No. It's black, it's black. black. Okay. I am wearing a black shirt. You say, I am wearing a black shirt. Good. What color are your jeans or your pants? The jeans uh, or the pants? What color are they? I... I I am the wear a uh, pants blue. Blue. Blue pants. Blue pants. Blue Good. pants. And the socks and the shoes, los zapatos. Eh, eh, Gina. <laughs> or chancla. I am wearing <laughs> flip flops. You say or sandals. I'm well. No sandals is for the lady. I'm wearing. Flip-flops, right? Flip-flops. Uh, I am where I... ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo se dice chancleta? Flip-flops. ¿Cómo? Flip-flops. Flip. Entonces, I am Aquí where... Está. I am... Uh, okay. Serían negras. I am where... Black. Uh, black. Flip. Flops. Flops. I am wearing black flip-flops. Okay, good, Ronnie. You survived, okay? Para ser el primero sobrevivimos. That was very good. Woohoo! You see? That was good. Helen, describe your outfit. The microphone, Helen. El secreto de la juventud. Go ahead. Uh, I have to say the example. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm wearing a white blouse. A white blouse, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, black pants. Black pants. And a black jacket. Black pants, black shoes, and a black jacket. Excellent job. You did a very good job. Thank you, Helen. And you say, I am wearing glasses. Okay, you're wearing glasses. Excellent. What say? Uh, headphones. No. It's a necklace. 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 It's a necklace. Good. I am wearing a necklace. I am going to write it right here. A necklace. A necklace. Right? Like this one. Right? A necklace. Very good job. Thank you, Helen. Very nice. Mr. Rene, describe your outfit. I, I am wearing the red t-shirt. A red t-shirt, uh-huh. I, I am wearing cap. Uh, I am wearing the blue jeans. Mm -hmm. In a boat. In boots, okay. In blue boots. jeans and boots. Show the boots. Muestrenos ahí la bota. There you go. Very elegant. Very good, very good. Excellent mm -hmm. job. You did a very good job. Let's continue with, let's continue with Catherine. Hey, very elegant tonight. <laughs> Catherine, what are you wearing? Uh, I am wearing uh, a strip shirt, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> a, a black pants. Uh -huh. 
and a gray shoes. And gray and shoes. Glasses. Mm -hmm. And glasses. And a bracelet. Uh, okay. And a bracelet. Oh, that's a watch, right? Uh, no, it's a bracelet. It's a bracelet. You look yeah. very nice tonight. <laughs> My respect and the claps go for Mr. Wilfredo Hernandez. That it's extremely elegant tonight. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Wilfredo. Como What are you que wearing? No que bañar, como no, que no teníamos que bañar, me bañé ahora. <laughs> sí, hoy es día de cambiar la foto del Facebook, del WhatsApp, del Instagram, en toda. <laughs> Very elegant. Mr. Wilfredo, what are you wearing? Vale, solo tengo una pregunta. ¿Cómo digo traje? Suit. ¿Cómo digo traje? Porque es completo, es un traje. Excellent. Oh, sí, ya puro licenciado. Va. <laughs> sí. Very good job. Bueno, de Suit. hecho, sí, soy licenciado porque tengo licencia de moto. Así que aplica. <laughs> soy licenciado. Va. <laughs> That's very good. That's very good. Fantastic. So you say suit. Suit. I'm wearing a suit. Okay. I'm going to write it right here. A suit. Suit. Okay. Y, so. Y color gris. Color gris. In this case, you say I am wearing a gray suit. A gray mm. suit. Okay. Okay. So. Entonces sería. Uh -huh. I am wearing a gray suit. Uh -huh. What color is your shirt? La camisa? The shirt? Uh, red. Red. And the tie? Uh, La gray. 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 And the shoes? Don't have shoes. Uh, negros. No sé <laughs> the si shoes? Son negros. <laughs> They are black. My respect. Uh, black, black, black. Claps for Mr. Wilfredo. You look very elegant. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, Wilfredo es el que llegaba elegante a la primera clase presencial y todos los demás. Como, ay, qué feo me vi. Por lo menos la primera. <laughs> no, but that, that's very nice. O como cuando íbamos en, el, en la primera clase de enero que todos llevan con el estreno. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y ahí hubiéramos dicho, qué bonito el estreno de Wilfredo. Mira el mío. <laughs> you look very nice. Congratulations, Mr. Wilfredo. Thank you for describing your outfit. Let's see. Mr. Estreberto, I cannot see you. Hi. Uh -huh. I need uh, to see your camera to see your outfit. If not, how am I going to do? Como veo su atuendo? Si no lo veo. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh -huh. There you go. Mr. Estreberto, what are you wearing today? Cuéntanos, ¿qué anda? Eh, ¿Qué, ¿Qué está vistiendo este día? Pero es que la bicha es diferente, este teacher. It's okay, don't o sea, worry, entonces... don't worry. Aquí lo imaginamos, ah. no tenga pena. I wear a teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, and black pants. Black uh, pants, uh huh. Uh, and black pants, obscure shop. You wear a sweet shirt. A sweet shirt, uh huh. A sweet shirt. Uh, and only that. But right now, if we can see your outfit, podemos ver su, su atuendo, el real, el que tiene ahorita. Uh, so it will be I am wearing a hey that is like I'm wearing the selecta shirt you say I am wearing the selecta shirt black pants and what color are your shoes what color are your shoes Your shoes, tus zapatos. Black. Black, okay. So you're wearing the Selecta shirt, black pants, and black shoes. Very good. Laura Pamela, very elegant. <laughs> you came back very elegant. 
That's, you see, me fui a cambiar. Esa es la magia de las mujeres. You see, she was like, and I changed my clothes. She said, um, Miss Laura Pamela, what are you wearing today? Um, I am wearing a black t-shirt. I am wearing the earrings. Earrings, uh -huh. I am. I am wearing a necklace. Necklace, necklace. Necklace. I am wearing blue pants, blue jeans. Jeans, jeans, jeans. I am wearing two tennis. Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes. Very good job. Thank you, Laura. And a very nice hairstyle. My God, hasta el, hasta el peinado en un segundo. That was, that's the magic of the ladies. I love it. Very nice. You look fantastic, Pamela. Very good job. Delia, what are you wearing today? Mm. And jeans. Yes, Shoes, no sé cómo es que dice. Jeans and a t-shirt. What color is your t-shirt? What Get color is yellow. your t-shirt? Yellow. So you say, I am wearing a yellow t-shirt. Oh, Garfield t-shirt. That's fantastic. Very good. And your shoes? What color are your shoes? Tus zapatos. What color are your shoes? Black. Black. Ah, no. Um, <laughs> with white, white, uh, white, white, white. <laughs> white. Okay, white shoes. Very good job. Let me see. Let's continue here with Mr. Manuel Eduardo. Mr. Manuel Eduardo. Yo le fallé, teacher. Se me ah, había yeah. olvidado que había que estar presentable ahora. <laughs> It's okay. Hagamos de caso que este es, es traje libre. Don't worry. Ajá. Uh -huh. But we cannot see you. Estamos en suspenso esperando ver a Manuel. No. Se le escucha <laughs> cortado, Tich. Ok. Eh, we are waiting to see you. We se want to see you. Ando en, ando en centro. Ah, ok. <laughs> ah, ah, ese era un atuendo de playa. You see? So, es que estoy en la casa ahora. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how can I say uh, centro. Oh, that it's um. Well, that can be that can be a well a tank top is for the ladies. Tank top. It's for the ladies, mm -hmm. but you can be a, a that's an undershirt. Undershirt. Undershirt, right? The tank top es para las chicas. Los que nos ponemos nosotros las, las mujeres, que son como de tirantes, son uh -huh. tank top. Pero undershirt son esos tipos de centros que, que usted anda así sin mangas. Ok, undershirt. Go ahead. Ok. And I'm wearing uh, shorts. Uh -huh. And flip flops. Flip flops. Only. And the undershirt. Ok, yeah. you see. Aquí tenemos atuendo de todo, de playa, de oficina, de negocios, de clases, everything. That's good. It's good. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Manuel. Let me see. Who am I missing? ¿Quién me falta? I think I, I asked everybody, right? That was very, very, very good. Because I asked Catherine, Wilfredo, I asked Estreberto, Ronnie, Delia, Laura, Manuel, Helen, and Rene. So I think I asked everybody about what you are wearing. You look very elegant today. You look very, very nice. So after this fashion topic model show, we are going to go with a little conversation. And it says, great, our clothes are dry. Where's my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Uh, here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they are mine, sorry. Oops, the jeans color all the clothes. 
Has that happened to you one time? ¿Ya les ha pasado esto? <laughs> yes. So, let's see. <laughs> Wilfredo, you are going to be a Pat and Helen is going to be fin? Julie. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that happens all the time. Wilfredo, you are Pat and Helen, you are Julie. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Helen. What color is it? It's white. There's a light blue blouse. It is is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, is it a minute? It's a disaster. Oh, no. All, all clothes are like. Here's the problem. It, he, is this new blue jean? Eso no sé cómo se dice. Whose? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. Mine. Sorry. Oh, they are mine. Sorry. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, my dear students, for participating and reading. Very good job. So, here we have the different uses of the uh, possessive adjectives and the possessive pronouns. Okay, con los possessive adjectives y con los possessive pronouns hablamos de posesiones y de quién es cada cosa. For example, if I say, is it yours? Tenemos una oración con eh, possessives. Eso es tuyo, right? Is it yours? And you say, no, it is not mine. Wait, it is mine, right? All our clothes are like blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Whose jeans? Cuando decimos whose jeans nos referimos a de quién son estos jeans? And you say, oh, they are mine. Sorry. ¿A qué nos referiríamos cuando decimos mine? Son míos. Son míos. Míos, right? They are mine. Sorry. Si les digo, where is my new blouse? ¿A qué me refiero? Me. Me, right? This is mi blusa nueva. What color is it? It's white, you say. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? ¿Qué significa eso cuando le digo? Is it yours? ¿Es tuya? No, it's not mine, right? It's a disaster. And for this one, I am going to go here with the little explanation for the possessive adjectives and the possessive pronouns. So in this case here, you have that the possessive adjectives are my, your, his, her, our, and they. And here I have the definitions. Ahí abajo del cuadro les he puesto qué significa cada una de esas cosas. If you say my, me, your, tu, her, su, de ella, his, su, de él, it's, su, de algo más, our, nuestro, and their, it's su de ellos. In this case, you say, these are my socks. Son mis calcetines. These are his socks. Son los calcetines de él. These are her socks. Son los calcetines de ella. But the possessive pronouns, y si se fijan aquí hay una diferencia, que los possessive adjectives están aquí, en medio, y los possessive pronouns están a dónde? Al final. Al final de la oración, right? These socks are mine. If you say, these socks are mine. Estos calcetines, ya no puedes decir mis calcetines. Aquí decimos, these socks are mine. ¿Qué significaría aquí? Estos calcetines son míos, right? Estos calcetines son tuyos. Míos. Yours, tuyos. right? In this case, yours. Estos calcetines son de él. De él, right? De ella, de ella de nosotros, de nuestros, nosotros y de ellos. 
y de ellos. Right? Vuestros. Aquí la diferencia es que digo, por ejemplo, estos son mis calcetines. Y aquí estos calcetines son míos. And we use also possessives with the apostrophe S. Okay? También hay casos de posesivos donde ocupamos el apóstrofe y la S. Que en este caso, cuando decimos Pat's blouse, nos referimos a la blusa de... A la blusa de Pat. A los jeans de... Julie. Yeah. Y a la camiseta de... Rex. Rex. Ok. Si les digo, por ejemplo, aquí... Um, Natis jeans. ¿A qué nos referiríamos? A los jeans de Nati. Y si les digo, por ejemplo, Nati's cat. El gato de, el gato de Nati. El gato de Nati, right? No tengo gato, pero me gustaría tener gato. So, <laughs> here you say, eh, uh, Nati's students. Estudio de Nati. Ah, los estudiantes de Nati. de Nati, ok? Son míos, ah, my precious. Nati's students. If I say this one, if I say this one, whose blouse is this? Whose blouse is this? ¿De quién es esta blusa? Ok, whose blouse is this? Imagínense que usted anda por su casa y encuentra esto. Ah, whose cell phone is this? Is it like, ah, it's Nati's. Ah, whose mouse is this? Ah, it's your father's. Okay. Whose book is this? And then you start asking questions. Whose jeans are these? They are Julie's. Aquí decimos, whose blouse is this? Y decimos, it's Pat's, porque nos referimos a la blusa que está en singular. Pero aquí, como estamos hablando de jeans, whose jeans are these? Vamos a contestar con they are, porque estamos hablando en plural. Estamos hablando de los jeans, in plural. Important, the possessive adjectives go in the middle and the possessive pronouns at the end, okay? Let's practice some of the sentences. ¿Tenemos alguna duda aquí, alguna pregunta antes de pasar a hacer los ejercicios? Teacher, dijo, eh, utilizando en, en la parte de arriba que decía... Eh, ¿Cómo es que se pronuncia? Eh, el, dice la blusa. Ah, ok. La, la otra palabra, la sombrera en negro. Pats. Que está en negrita. Pats. No, no ya donde está la oración. Ah, o la, 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 la who's, pregunta. Who's, who's, va, who's en, blouse en is this? Mencionó, va, en esa sería de quién es. Eh, esta blusa, ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿De quién es la blusa? ¿De quién es esta blusa? Porque la estamos enseñando. Ah, okay. ¿Whose blouse is this? ¿Whose blouse is this? ¿De quién es esta blusa? ¿Y de quién no, son y... estos jeans? Ah, ok. Ok. Because this one is singular and this one is plural. Ok. Here you have the singular and the plural. Ok. Antes de pasar al ejercicio, we are going to do something. I need you please to take one object. Take one object that you have there. Agarren un objeto que tengan ahí. Cualquier objeto. Cualquier objeto. Y me van a decir. This is. This is. This is Natty's book. This is Natty's book. Ok. Porque es mío. Me van a mostrar la posición. This is Natty's book. This is Natty's headphones. Or these are Natty's headphones. This is Natty's necklace. Show me one object and give me the possession. Muéstrame un objeto y díganme una oración con el posesivo que sea suyo. Un objeto, cualquiera. Hey. Helen. Oh, okay. This is Helen's puppy. This is Helen's puppy. Oh, it's a cutie. What a beautiful thing. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. This is well, Helen's puppy. Okay, good. Very good example. Another example. Show me one object and tell me yeah. the possession. Okay, Catherine. Teacher. 
This is a gathering a bracelet. Bracelet, bracelet. Bra Good. Bracelet. Ronnie. Uh, practical. Sería, uh, sería uh, one. Uh -huh. This is. The, this is. Well, uh, this is, is the water. Ajá, pero es tuya. Entonces tenemos que decir, sí. this is Ronnie's wallet. This is Ronnie's wallet. Very good. Uh, let me see. René, show me one possession that you have there. This is my control. This is René's control. Porque es tuyo. Entonces tenés que decir tu nombre. This is René's control. Okay. Okay, Wilfredo. This is Wilfredo uh, watch. Wilfredo's watch. Very good job, Manuel. This is Manuel's pen. This is Manuel's pen. Very good job, Delia. This is Delia purse. This is Delia's purse. Very good. This is Delia's purse. Laura. This is Laura Mouse. This is Laura's mouse. Very good. It's a friend of my mouse. Hey, they are friends. Uh, let's see. Alvaro. This is their laptop. This is Alvaro's laptop. This is Alvaro's laptop. Estreberto, your example. Mr. Estreberto, your example. This is cell phone. This is no. Estreberto's cell phone. Estreberto's cell phone. Very good job. And I think we are done with the examples. Very good job. So that's the way we use the possessive forms of these ones. Now, here I have a little practice, right? And in this practice, we are going to work the possessive adjectives, okay? We are going to work the possessive adjectives. Y por aquí se los puse para que los podamos trabajar. And here I have the first person. What is the possessive adjective for I? My. My. Good, very good. So you say, I like my hat. I like my hat, right? I like my hat. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I like my hat. Okay, very good. She lives with, and here we have she. What is the form for she and brother? Uh -huh. With her, very good. She lives with her brother. brother. What about the next one? I have. Your. Your. Aquí los tenemos en el cuadrito a la par. Okay. Okay. Here you can have I, you. Wait, 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 wait. I am going to go here. I, you, he. She, it, we, and they. Okay, these are the forms of the subject, right? And here we have the complement, right? Okay, and I think I have, I have it there. I, you, he, she, I think I, I made them in the opposite. No, oh, I, this one has to be she and this one has to be he. It, we, and they, okay? So here you have the forms of the person and the forms of the possessive adjectives. Here you have, I know mother. What is the one that you use for they? ¿Cuál usamos para they? Yours. ¿Cuál usamos para they? They are. They are, right? I know their mother, right? I know their mother. Good. She likes... He. His. Okay, his. she likes his shoes. Aquí en el 
paréntesis tienen la persona que vamos a ocupar. The teacher has her, her book. Her. The next one. I buy food every day. ¿Cuál usamos para we? Our. Our, right? Our. For we, our. I buy our food every day. Good. He loves the he loves the radio music. It. He loves its music. She wants She wants uh -huh. my. my money. She wants my money. And the last one, I like Dave and Tania. Si tenemos dos personas que no estamos incluidos nosotros, es eh, they. In this case, they. it will be they. their. They. They. I like it. their. It. It. Ok, en este caso estamos refiriéndonos a Dave y Tania. En este caso es their. Their bicycles. Good, very good. I like their bicycles. Good, this was an easy example, right? This was a very easy example. Let's continue here. Ok, let's go with the next one. And in this one, what you are going to use is the possessive pronouns, okay? The possessive pronouns are the ones that we were talking that you go at the end, okay? Los possessive pronouns son los que ocupábamos al final de las oraciones. En el mismo caso que acabamos de hacer con los anteriores, tenemos eh, los possessive pronouns. Recuerden que las diferentes personas con las que los ocupamos es I, you, he, ah, siempre me equivoco. She, he, it, we, they. Okay? And here you have it. Okay? En las oraciones tienen el ejemplo. Tienen el ejemplo de la persona de la que estamos hablando. Here you have. I am riding my bike. Right? I am riding my bike. The bike is... Mine. 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 Good. The bike is mine. Que no es de nadie más. Es solo mía. The next one. It says, the ring, the rings belong to Lucy. The rings belong to Lucy. They are? Her. Lucy. Her. Hers. Okay. Si le pertenecen a Lucy, son de ella. They are hers. Good. There is a book on your desk. There is a book on your desk. You have your desk. Is it yours? Good. Is it yours? Is it yours? Good. We have a computer. ¿Qué ocupamos para we? Our. We have a computer. Uh, our, That our. computer is our. our. Ours. Okay, ours. That money belongs to him. That money belongs to him. Le pertenece a, a él. It is? His. 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 Good. It is his. This garden belongs to them. It is? Their. Theirs. Good. It's theirs. Okay. Them? Uh, well, in this case, it's theirs. This garden belongs to them. In this case, cuando decimos a ellos... ¿Le pertenece a ellos? Estaríamos usando esta persona eh, plural. They. Y entonces el possessive pronoun que les corresponde es theirs. ¿Ok? And the next one. That house belongs to us. Para nosotros. Ours. They 
uh, they are, oh, the houses belongs to us. They are ours. I have two cats. They are? Mine. Mine, right? They are mine. Are those shoes ends? Si son de, de end, they are? Hair. Hairs. Good, very good. They are hairs. And the last one, are these balls the children's? Right, they belong to the children. No, they aren't there. There, porque children sería una tercera persona plural. No, they aren't theirs. Okay. En esto tenemos que ser muy cuidadosos en fijarnos en qué tipo de personas la que estamos hablando en la primera oración. Porque casi siempre estas van a ir complementando una primera oración. Ok, tenemos que fijarnos qué tipo de sujeto tenemos en esa oración para ver qué tipo de possessive pronoun necesitamos en la segunda. Ok, ready for the next exercise. Let's see. Vamos a hacer un último ejercicio que es un poquito más Teacher. larguito. Yes. Teacher. Yes, Mr. Rani. En la en anterior. Ah, bueno, bueno, en. En este poco, poco he comprendido, tengo una de mis, una de mis, mis dudas. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, en la, en la 8 dice, eh, yo, tengo, yo tengo dos gatos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿por qué se, se utiliza ya después en, bueno, donde dice, they are my, eh, así se pronuncia, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, arriba. ¿Por qué dice, pusimos yo... de aquí? Ajá, correcto. Ok, muy Esa buena pregunta. Muy buena pregunta. Aquí tenemos: I have two cats. Dice: Ajá. Yo tengo dos gatos. Dos gatos, correcto. Ajá, y entonces, en la segunda oración, no me estoy refiriendo totalmente a mí, porque aquí la segunda oración está enfocado a de quién son los gatos. I have two cats. They are mine. Tengo dos gatos y los gatos son míos. Este they. Se refiere a two cats. Y entonces aquí yo no digo, la oración no es para mí. Dice, I have two cats. Yo tengo dos gatos. Son míos, right? Son míos. They are oh, mine. Okay. And you are referring to the plural okay. of the cats. That's a prácticamente, good practica, Prácticamente eh, estoy haciendo como... Estoy dando la afirmación. Ajá. O, o no, o, o, ¿cómo, ¿cómo sería? Estoy dando la pregunta, estoy haciendo la pregunta y, me, y estoy dando la respuesta. O sería como. Es que, ok, eh, ahí en esta, en Ajá. esta, estás complementando la información que estás brindando. Ah, porque okay, decimos, okay. yo tengo dos gatos, pero pueda Correcto. que no sean míos, pueda que sean de mi mamá, puede que sean de mi prima, de mi sobrina, de quien sea. Ok, I have two cats. They are mine. Y los dos son míos. ¿Ok? Uh, okay Estamos dándole okay. extra information. Si sí les digo, por ejemplo, en esta, eh, que dice, eh, I am riding my bike. ¿Ok? Si dice, I am riding my bike, ya sabemos que hay una posesión aquí, porque aquí, obviamente, decimos my bike. Pero si les digo, ¿de quién es esa bici? ¿De quién es esa bicicleta? Ah, the bike is mine. Es mía. Mía. Yeah. Okay. Y así are... como en, el, en ese de abajo no le faltó la, la cat. En la... En la 8. Hey. Ajá. Ajá. Podemos haber puesto aquí, the two cats are mine. Pero ah. no, ahí lo que hicimos fue evitar repetir el sujeto para no poner, okay. I have two cats. The two cats are mine. Sino que reemplazamos two cats por el sujeto they para referirnos siempre al plural pero eh, ya no repetimos la palabra anterior, ¿ok? Ok. Oh, that's a good, it's a good question. Por eso siempre le pregunto. ¿Tienen preguntas? And that's okay. And I have the last one. I have the last exercise. And this, we are going to work together. Esto lo vamos a hacer entre todos. Todos lo vamos a poner, eh, lo vamos a leer, vamos a poner atención, a ver cómo es y qué es lo que necesitamos. Tenemos que estar muy atentos de la ubicación de la palabra y obviamente de qué es lo que estamos hablando. And it says, Is this Jennifer's hat? 
No is not hers. Porque está al final de la oración. Aquí está el punto. Ok. No, it's not hers. Y también porque se refiere a que no es de ella. No, it's not hers. It's. Not mine. It's mine, mine. Right? It's mine. Are these your glass, your gloves, or your gloves? Yours. Are these your gloves or your gloves? Your. Okay, in this case, decimos your. Are these your gloves? No, they are not gloves. ¿Cuáles eran los que ocupábamos en medio de la oración? My no. or mine? No. My. My, right? They are not my gloves. Let's ask Sally. Maybe they are gloves. Hairs. Ok, no podríamos usar hairs porque no se acaba ahí la oración. Entonces mm -hmm. tendrían que ser they are hair, hair, gloves. hair gloves porque todavía tenemos un complemento que le sigue. ¿Con cuál hacíamos la pregunta? ¿Con whose o con yours? Mm. Whose? Whose t-shirt are these? Are they Julie's and Pat's? No, they are not t-shirts. They are t-shirts. They are, right? Porque no podemos usar esta porque no está al final de la oración. But these socks are, y aquí sí se acaba la oración. Theirs. Theirs, right? They are theirs. And these shorts are, y aquí sí se acaba la oración. Yours. Yours, right? And these socks are yours. Hey, these are not clothes. Oh. Our clothes. Our, our, you our, are right. Our, our, Ours our, are our. over there. Okay, las de nosotros o las nuestras están allá. Ours are over there. Good, very good. Very good, my dear students. Very nice. So I think I have one example for this one in the next slide. Let's go here and I'm going to go here. I have here a little conversation and I need Manuel and Katherine to help me with the conversation. I am Pat. Pat or okay. Julie, whatever you want. Okay. Oh no. What's the matter? It is snowing. It is and it is very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are home. Well, you are wearing your coat? But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing but okay, let's take it. Let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> Let's take a taxi, you say. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. It says, what's the matter? What's the matter? ¿Cuál sería este tipo de pregunta? What's the matter? ¿Qué, pasa? ¿Qué, ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué sucede? Right? Because if you say, oh, no. What's the matter? Right? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué sucede? What's the matter? And it says, it's snowing and it's very cold. Uh, are you wearing your gloves? Like gloves, recuerden que lo aprendimos el día de ayer, son estos que están aquí, los guantes. Are you wearing your gloves? And she says, no, they are at home. Well, but you are wearing your coat. Coat and coat. ¿Cuál coat creen ustedes que le va a servir más para la lluvia, para el frío? This one, because this one is not warm. Oh, I am not wearing boots. She is wearing boots, but her friend is not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay. De acuerdo a la descripción que vimos en la conversación, ¿quién es Pat y quién es Julie? Pat is using the hands, I think. Uh -huh. High heels. She's ah, wearing okay. high, high heels. heels. So Pat <laughs> is the lady with the high heels, right? And Julie 
is the one that it's completely prepared for the snow, right? Julie is completely prepared for the snow. She has a hat, she has the scarf, she has the coat, and she has boots. But uh, in this case, it says uh, Julie doesn't have gloves, she is not wearing a coat, she is not wearing a hat, and she is not wearing boots. But. And for sure, she is not wearing pants. And she's freezing there, okay? Es como los que se ponen suéter y short. <laughs> it's like, I'm very cold. For sure, you have shorts and sweater. And it's like, no, but I look fantastic, you say. So, but that's the case of uh, this lady here. So, my dear students, you are going to be Julie and I am Pat, okay? One, two, and three. Oh, no. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Ay, no, no, no lo sentí preocupado por mí. Oh, no. <laughs> What's, What's the, the matter? matter? What's the matter? It's snowing it's and it's very cold. Are you wearing you wearing, wearing, you wearing, you wearing you gloves? No, they are at home. But my coat is not warm. And I am not wearing boots. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's, okay. Let's, okay. Thanks, my dear students. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> now you are Pat and I am Julie. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, oh, no. No. oh no. What's the matter? It's snowing. It's very cold. Very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, no, they are at home. They are at home. Well, but you're wearing your coat. But my, my, my coat, coat, coat isn't warm. warm. And I'm, I'm not warm. wearing boots. I am wearing, wearing boots. Boot. Ah, okay, students. Let's take a taxi to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. That's the answer when you say, what's the matter, right? You have to sound like if you are worried about the person. Because imagine if you say like, what's the matter? Nada, nada, ya no me pasa nada. Ya no me nada. Ajá, imagínense que usted le responda a su esposa, what's the matter? Nada, nada, ya me morí, ahí déjame. Don't worry. No te preocupes por mí. But if you say, what's the matter, baby? What's going on? Can I help you? For sure, she's going to say like, ah, oh, I have a headache. Ah, uh, and she's going to tell you everything. <laughs> but if you say, what's the matter? <laughs> Pégame, pues. Oh, <laughs> so they will be like, okay, no. Thank you. So you say, what's the matter? What's the matter? You have to sound that you care, that you care about uh, what's going on for sure. Okay, let's continue here. In the sentences that we have here, we have a specific have phrases. Like for example, are you wearing your gloves? ¿Estás usando tus guantes? Right? It's snowing. Está nevando. Right? You are wearing your coat. ¿Estás usando tu abrigo? I am not wearing boots. No estoy usando botas. Right? So in this case, we have continuous sentences. Está nevando, usando, vistiendo. Right? That is the form that we also have in Spanish. And I am going to show it to you. Here we have it. In this case, we have three forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Okay, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. And we have, I am wearing, I am not wearing. Oh. Are you wearing? Okay, we have the three forms of the questions. Y lo ocupamos ahora cuando empezamos nuestra clase. El día de hoy utilizamos esta misma estructura cuando iniciamos la clase. Que dijimos, I am wearing jacket, I am wearing pants, I am wearing jeans, right? 
I am not wearing flip-flops. I am not wearing a hat. I am not wearing a jacket, okay? And if I ask you, students, are you wearing a coat? Are you wearing a coat? ¿Están usando un abrigo ahorita? No. Are you wearing no. a coat? No. I'm no. Not wearing. No, no, no. Aha, you have two options. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Students, are you wearing uh, headphones right now? Yes. No, I am yeah. not. No, I am not. No, I am not, right? Yes. Are you wearing are you wearing a watch? No, a watch? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, I am, right? Yes, I am. Very good. Are you wearing socks? Calcetines? Are you wearing socks? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Very no, good. Let me see. Are you wearing boots? No, yes, I am. I am not. No, I am not. Well, René, yes, he's wearing boots. Let me see. Are you wearing flip-flops? No, I am not. No, no I, am. I am. Yes, I am. You say I am wearing flip-flops today. Very good. Tell me one thing that you are not wearing today. So you say, I am not wearing a hat. I am not wearing a hat. Good. Another example. I am not wearing a cap. I am not wearing a cap. Very good. I am not I am wearing not... a tie. I am not wearing a tie, right? In this case, Manuel is not wearing uniform. Ronnie, one mm -hmm. thing that you are yeah. not wearing. Algo que no estés usando. Uh, I am uh, not wearing. I, I am not uh, wear, wearing shoes. Shoes. <laughs> I am not yeah. wearing shoes. Good. Let me see. Pamela, one thing that you are not wearing. I am not wearing to pyjama. Pijamas, right? I am not wearing pijamas. Good. Mr. Wilfredo. Solo una consulta. ¿Cómo se dice casco? Hat. Casco, casco, de moto. Okay, in that case, it will be um I think it's a it's it's the same. It's it's a it's a hat. Let me just confirm, okay? Let me just confirm how you say it because I think it has the same meaning. We're going to go here. Um, I am going to go here and it is, ah, good. Helmet. 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 Yeah. Mm, entonces sería, I'm not wearing a helmet. 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 Yeah. H-E-L-M-E-T. Helmet. Good. I am helmet. not wearing a helmet. Very nice. Delia, tell me one thing that you are not wearing. I am not wearing a cap. A cap. Good. Very good. So this is the form. Now I need you to ask me a question. Teacher, are you wearing? And you tell me one object. Uh, are you wearing a, a flip-flop? No, I am not wearing flip-flops. I am wearing shoes. Oh. Ask me another no. question. Teacher, are you wearing? Teacher, are you wearing uh, a hat? A hat? Mm, not right now. I don't have any right here. No, I am not wearing a hat. Good. Any other question? Are you wearing a skirt? A skirt? No, I am wearing jeans. Good. So this is the these are the three forms of the sentences with present continuous. I am wearing, I am not wearing, are you wearing? And here I am going to wrap up the class showing you the different examples, right? As you can see here, we have the three forms, right? For I am wearing, he, she, it is wearing, we, you, they are wearing. And how do you make the sentences with them? 
And I have here the two forms for first person and for third person. I am wearing boots. I am not wearing boots. Are you wearing boots? She is wearing boots. She is not wearing boots. Is she wearing boots? Right? And here you have how we make questions with the three forms of this one, okay? Here, let me just make it clear this. Tomorrow we are going to work on examples with affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences with wearing. In this case, is present continuous. Okay, but that is going to be on tomorrow's class. Okay, we are going to create these sentences that for sure you have seen them before. Okay. In this case, we are going to complete them with information in affirmative and negative form. Here you have a lady. ¿Qué anda esta chica puesto? ¿Qué es lo que pueden ver que carga? She's uh, wearing a suit. a suit, a skirt, high heels, high heels, high heels. High heels. a purse. A in a briefcase, but she doesn't have umbrella, umbrella right? Umbrella. She doesn't have an umbrella. Oh. So in this one, it says, my name is Claire. I am wearing a green suit today. High heels. It's I'm wearing or not wearing. Yeah. I'm wearing. And I am wearing. I am wearing high heels too. It's raining, but oh. I a raincoat. Está usando una... I am not wearing. Ah, I am not wearing. I am not wearing a raincoat. I am not wearing a raincoat. Okay. What about the kids? It's hot today. Toshi and Noriko are the two kids here. Shorts and t-shirts. Are wearing uh, or wearing. are not wearing? Are not wearing. Are no, I'm this is wearing. shorts and t-shirts. Yeah, are wearing. Yes, they are wearing. Are wearing, right? They are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they sunglasses. Are, are not wearing. They are not wearing are sunglasses. Not. They are not wearing sunglasses, okay? So tomorrow we are going to continue with more examples like this. If you can finish section four of the platform, you will be ready for tomorrow's class, okay? Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I am going to see you tomorrow with more about this topic and with more things to learn. Thank you very much for being so elegant today, and I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Good Thank night. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye.